Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have opened a camera raw file for processing in the photo editor of Photoshop Elements, it will open within the camera raw dialog box. This dialog box contains the tools and processing settings used to import and process the camera raw data. At the very top of the dialog box is the title bar which shows the name of the version of camera raw that you have installed, followed by the name of the camera used to take the photograph. Below that is the toolbar within the camera raw dialog box which contains the tools you can use to edit and correct the image while processing it. The tools within this toolbar are from left to right, zoom tool, hand tool, white balance tool, crop tool, straighten tool, red eye removal, open preferences dialog, rotate image 90 degrees counterclockwise or left, and rotate image 90 degrees clockwise or right. At the right end of the toolbar is the toggle full screen mode button. The toggle full screen mode button toggles the size of the dialog box between a full screen view and a smaller dialog box view. At the right side of the dialog box are several panels. In the upper right corner is a histogram of the current image showing the tonal range of the image at its current settings. As you make adjustments in the panel below the histogram, the data within the histogram automatically updates. In the upper left and upper right corners of the histogram are two buttons that you can click to toggle clipping warnings on and off within the image preview. When enabled, clipping warnings appear as shaded red areas within the preview image. These areas indicate where clipping of the shadows or highlights within the image will occur according to the current settings. The left button is the shadow clipping warning and the right button is the highlight clipping warning. Below the histogram you can see the RGB and image information. You can move your mouse pointer over the image to view the corresponding RGB information for whichever point within the image preview over which your mouse pointer hovers. To the right of the RGB information is some basic image information. Below the RGB and image information are three tab buttons. You can click one of these tab buttons to display the associated settings for that tab in the panel below the button at the right side of the dialog box. The tab buttons from left to right are named Basic, Detail, and Camera Calibration. You can see the name of the currently selected tab shown in the thin bar at the top of the panel. At the right side of the thin bar is the Settings Options button. You can click this button to select which settings to apply to the current camera raw image in the menu that appears. After creating custom settings on the camera calibration, basic, and detail tab, you can also use the choices shown in this pop-up menu to save those settings as the new camera raw default settings. We will discuss using the settings within the basic, detail, camera calibration, and settings options button in more detail in later lessons in this chapter. Below the preview image shown at the left side of the dialog box, in the lower left corner, are the zoom settings. You can click the minus button to zoom out from the preview image, and you can click the plus button to zoom in to the preview image. The magnification level is shown in the white field to the right of those two buttons. You can click the drop down at the right end of the magnification field to view a pop-up menu of common zoom settings you can apply by selecting one within the pop-up menu. The name of the camera raw file is shown to the right of the zoom settings in the same bar. To the right of the name of the camera raw file is the cycles between before after views button. You can click this button to cycle the preview of the camera raw image shown between the five before and after views of the image so you can preview the way changes you make to the camera raw file appear. You can also click and hold down your mouse on the button to display a drop-down menu of the view choices instead. You can then click the name of the before-after view you want to show in the preview window from the drop-down menu that appears. At the very bottom of the dialog box are several buttons that you can use to process the camera raw image file. You can click the help button to open a web page that you can use to help you learn more about the camera raw dialog box. You can click the Save Image button to open the Save Options dialog box, which you can use to save a copy of the camera raw image with the settings that you specify. This will be discussed in a separate lesson. 
Note that you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click the Save Image button that replaces the Save Image button followed by the ellipsis mark to bypass the Save Image dialog box if desired. To the right of that, you can use the Bit Depth dropdown to choose the desired bit depth to use for the camera raw image file. In the lower right corner, you can click the Done button to apply any process settings changes to the selected image and close this dialog box without opening the image in the photo editor. You can click the Cancel button to cancel your changes and close this dialog box if needed. You can hold down the Alt button on your keyboard and click the Reset button that replaces the Cancel button to reset this dialog box if needed. You can click the Open Image button to apply your process settings changes by updating the image's metadata and also opening the selected image in the photo editor. You can also hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click the Open Copy button that replaces the Open Image button to open the selected image in the photo editor without updating the image's metadata. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.